Good morning, everyone. Good morning, good morning. I don't think they can hear me, Curtis. Good morning. Good morning. There we go. Wow, there's lots of excitement in the house this morning. Are you happy to be here? Well, three people are. Time to wake up, time to get ready to worship. Just uh, encourage everybody to come on in. Again, uh, this is our combined service for this morning for both services. We're going to have kids in here during worship. It's just going to be awesome as we worship the Lord this morning. And uh, I want to just share something out of uh, Second Corinthians that I read this morning in my devotional time. And this is from the message, the first part of Second Corinthians. May all the gifts and benefits that come Amen. from God our Father and the Master Jesus Christ be yours. Did you get that? I think most people didn't get it because they're still talking. <laughs> I'm going to read it again. May all the gifts and benefits that come from God our Father and the Master Jesus Christ be yours. You ready to claim that this morning? All the oh! gifts and benefits. Let's stand together. Woo, woo. And just say, Jesus, I'm here to receive all the gifts and benefits that you have for me. Father, I receive all the gifts and benefits that you have for me this morning. And I'm going to press in and I'm going to take those this morning. In Jesus' name, we just thank you, Lord, for your presence. We thank you, Holy Spirit, that you are here. And we just pray in Jesus' name that every life here will be touched this morning by the power of your spirit and by your presence. And we thank you for that. And we give you praise in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 We have Steve Swanson in the house, been with us all week. Bless you, Steve, as you laid. And thank you. He's, late. He's, he's waiting for the blinding light. Yeah. Sean, let's get the blinding light on Steve. Can we get the lights on? There we go. All right. Let's worship the Lord. Hallelujah. Hey, there's kids in here, right? Can we have the kids come up and have fun? Come on, let's party, kids. All the kids up front, yes, come on, let's go. We're going to have a party, kids party, yeah. And all you other kids, too. All you big kids. Oh, you turn my morning into dancing. With just the sound of your voice. Yeah. You gave me beauty for my ashes. Come on, kids. So now I'll shout up, shout for joy. Let there be joy in the house. Let there be joy. Let there be joy in the house. Woo! The house of the Lord. <laughs> Let there be joy in the house. Let there be joy. Let there be joy in the house. The house of the Lord. Yeah, yeah. You took my rags, turned them to robes. Crown me with your love. Well, you took my sorrow, filled me with laughter. So now I'll shout, I'll shout for joy. Oh, joy, be joy in the house. Let there be joy. Woo! Let there be joy in the house. <laughs> Let there be joy. Let there be joy in the house. The house of the Lord. Pour it out. Pour out the oil of gladness. Shake all the shackles from my hand. Shake it off. Shake it off. Celebrate the new wine that's flowing. Woo! It's time to dance. It's time to dance. Everybody dance now. Oh, yeah. Woo. I got the joy, 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 joy. I got the joy, 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 
We should be the happiest people on the face of the earth. Woo! Celebrate the new wine that's flowing. Oh, whoa. Hallelujah. <laughs> well, how many of you here weren't here? Oh, we, we're not here anytime this week. Come on, lift your hand. I know. Oh, come on. Oh, everybody put your hands towards her and anybody else that has her hand up. 
Come on, pour out the wine on her. Pour out. The <laughs> pour it out. Come on, you're gonna get your portion right now. We're gonna. <laughs> Hallelujah. Whoa. Yes, Lord, bless her, bless her, bless her, Lord, bless her. <laughs> yeah, Lord, thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Ah, oh, better, 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 better. I see the Lord, and His train fills this temple.
they cry holy holy is the lord yeah yeah and the angels cry Let's make a declaration today. And the temple is filled. And the temple is filled with the glory of God. Yeah. And the whole earth is filled with the glory of God. Yeah. temple is filled with the glory of God, yeah. And Seattle is filled with the glory of God. Come on, lift your hands today. Oh, Lord, fill this place with your glory. Fill this place with your glory, Lord. And Seattle is filled with the glory of God. And Seattle is filled with the glory of God. And Seattle is filled with the glory of God. And Seattle is filled with the glory of God. Yes, Lord. Oh, yeah. Send your glory. Send your glory, Lord. Send your glory. Send your glory, Lord. Yeah, yeah. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, shalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalal
He makes his angels wins His servants flames of fire He makes his angels wins His servants flames of fire <laughs> So come wins So come power of the living God. He makes his angels wings, his servants flames of fire. Whoa! He makes his angels wings. His servant flames of fire. Come on, let this be your prayer today. Come, winds of fire. So come, winds of fire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Release Whoa. the power, the power.
zu feiern. On a mission, coming to position, bringing back vision to the sons of God. Angels on a mission, coming to position, bringing back vision to the sons of God. Angels on a mission, coming to position, bringing back vision to the sons of God. Angels on a mission, coming to position, bringing back vision to the sons of God. On a mission, coming to position, bringing back a vision to the sons of God. Angels on a mission, coming to position, bringing back a vision to the sons of God. Angels on a mission, coming to position, bringing back a vision to the sons of God. Angels on a mission, coming to position, bringing back a vision to the sons of God.
where the spirit wind blows. Mm, worship. Sing an hallelujah. Hallelujah.
the fire of my dogs never burn out. The fire of my arms should never burn out. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. Make us a house, sing it corporately. May the fire on our altar never burn out. The fire on our altar never burn out. May the fire on our altar never burn out. Make us a house of prayer. Whoa! The fire on my altar never burn out. The fire on my altar. May the fire on my altar never burn out. Make us a house of prayer. And Lord, make us. get five people in here to agree I just need five people I just need five people come on yeah oh we want to see what you're doing God we're in we're in we're in we're in count us in Lord count us in Lord whatever you're doing we want in ground floor on this thing <laughs> hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Come on, let's worship the Lord today. Worthy is the Lamb who was slain. Holy, holy is He. Sing a new song. Sit on heaven's mercy seat. <laughs> That's awesome. Worthy. Worthy is the Lamb who was slain. Holy, holy is he. I sing a new song to him who sits on. Heaven's mercy seed, holy and holy, holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty, who was and is and is to come with all creation. 
whole church ran. What up the whole church ran? It'd be crazy, 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 crazy. Careful though.
so great that I shook the ground The crystal sea was moving in and out Filled with fire all around The worship never ended Here in this holy place All of heaven responds to God Every time he shows his face yeah, yeah, yeah. Smoke on the altar a Fire in the sky Smoke on the altar I think a couple of generations just got educated to 70s music. <laughs> you see all the old people light up here? In that song? <laughs> all right. Wow. You know, as, as we've been worshiping and praising the Lord this morning, the Lord just dropping in my heart, there's healing going on. He's the God of all healing. Remember we started off the service saying, let's receive everything that God has for us. Let's pull down everything that God has for yeah, us. Come on. Just reach up into that atmosphere right now. Just reach up and receive what you need from the Lord right now. 
because he's here. He's touching lives. He's touching people. He's not. He's touching you physically. He's touching you emotionally. He's touching your heart. Awesome that we could we could celebrate this together as families this morning, and just come into the presence of God and receive everything that God has for us. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I know we're going to hear testimonies of what God has done here this morning. And I know for some it might have been a, a, a bit of a stretch, a little bit different than Sunday morning worship that you're used to. But this, get used to it, folks. Just get used to it. Because this is just a taste of eternity. This is just a taste of what heaven's going to be like as we just gather around the throne and worship the Lord as we were singing earlier. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I think this is a great atmosphere right now to be able to, to release our children. Uh, they, they've just been great, haven't they? It's been good having them in here. Let's have all the kids come up the front and, the, and uh, their teachers and workers. You, may, you, you can be seated, folks, if you can. Uh, but kids, come on up front here. All the kids. We're so blessed to have such quality people working with our yes. children, and we're just excited about what God's going to, has been doing, and is going to continue to do in the lives of these little ones. And so, you guys, we're just going to pray a blessing over you as you go to your various children's ministries. And if there's uh, families that are visiting this morning, you're welcome to bring your children. Again, uh, you just need to go with them and sign them into the various children's departments, and uh, they'll be happy to have your children here this morning. Yeah, let's just pray. Would you stretch your hands out to these, these little ones and just bless them as we send them off. Father, thank you for these young lives. Thank you for the atmosphere that they are being exposed to of your presence. Thank you that that presence is wherever they go. And we just thank you for that, Lord. I just pray a blessing on each teacher, each helper, and each of these kids. And that they would just sense continuing presence as they go to their classrooms and we thank you for that in jesus name amen amen god bless you guys just head right that way please walk don't run okay walk right over that way and follow with teachers and helpers all right thank you lord thank you lord thank you steve and worship team yeah, for man. leading us in, in the presence of the lord this morning just doing so awesomely thank you lord we welcome you this morning. I'm Keith. I'm one of the pastors here at Seattle Revival Center. If you're a, a guest with us this morning, we just welcome you. And uh, lots of people, I think, have stayed over from the conference or the camp, summer camp meeting. We had an awesome time last night. Just an incredible healing right down here in the front. Uh, lady just spent some time on the floor down in the front here just thanking Jesus over and over again for her healing as God had restored her from a uh, a, you know, a terrible accident that she had been involved in a number of years ago, and, and God just completely healed her. And, uh, you know, just absolutely fantastic. You have an opportunity this morning to bring our tithes and offerings to the Lord to sow into the, the work that God is doing here. And so we'd ask you to prepare that offering and be ready to, to come and to, to give that. There uh, should be instructions going up on the screen as far as the text to give is concerned. Of course, you can make out a check to SRC. Or you can put cash in an envelope. Just uh, please write legibly so we can pro properly receipt you for cash gifts. And uh, I know God will bless you and is continuing to bless you as you, uh, as you sow into his kingdom. And so let's just pray, and then uh, we'll encourage you to bring your, your offerings forward. Father, thank you. Thank you again for what you have done and what you are going to do. And we just thank you for the opportunity we have to bring our tithes and give of our offerings. And I just pray that you'll bless each gift and giver this morning. You'll take this, these funds and, God, that they will be used for reaching souls here in Newcastle, in the Seattle area, and reaching out through missions around the world. We thank you for that. We just, we just pray a blessing on this this morning in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. God bless you as you give. And would you welcome Pastor Anthony as he comes. Thank you, Pastor Keith. Feel free to give uh, your neighbor a high five or a hug if you know them. Or if you have a word of knowledge that you need to give them a hug, then check with the leader first. Just kidding. <laughs>
My name's uh, Anthony. I'm one of the pastors here uh, at Seattle Revival Center. How many of you guys, this is your first time here on a Sunday morning? This is your first time here as a Sunday morning uh, welcomer. Yeah, come on. Welcome. Welcome. Yeah. Welcome, guys. So uh, for our first time guest, we, uh, we have uh, connection cards in our bulletins that you can fill out. And you can take that back after service um, to get a gift. We have a gift for you guys. So we just want to bless you guys. Thanks for being here. Um, we can pass the clipboards as well. Um, I don't have a ton of announcements, uh, but we, you may have noticed those clipboards in the back, the really organized, nicely uh, outlined clipboards in the back. Uh, those are our connect group uh, uh, signups. Come on. So how many of you guys have ever been in a connect group? Make some noise. So imagine uh, you're in a house and you're just praising the Lord, and then uh, the fire department shows up because there was a report of fire on the house, and you're like, what? What fire? No, we're just praising the Lord. And then, uh, and then the fire department uh, people, they get uh, slain in the spirit, and they're, they're just kind of getting delivered and set free, or maybe they're already there. But, I mean, this is, imagine this going out, you know, going out to our neighborhoods, to our families, to everywhere we go. Um, and that's, that's really the heart with uh, Connect Groups is, is, is to take the presence, to camp around the presence and to go deeper. And so uh, we just encourage you guys to sign up uh, for a Connect Group. Um, there's many different uh, Connect Groups there, and there's just a lot of ways to get connected. So we just encourage you guys to do that. Also, um, our Activation School, AS101, um, that's not our Supernatural School. That's our AS101, just a way to get started at the church and get plugged in. So that's launching. Um, the signups launched today. Uh, it's a 12-week class with cultures of SRC. So our different cultures here at SRC, if you want to dive in, it's an awesome way to get plugged in. So we just encourage you guys to do that. Activation school signups are back there as well, and um, all are welcome to attend. So uh, definitely we just encourage you guys to come check that out. So that's all I got for your announcements this morning. Come on. Come on. Would you guys welcome... Maybe by stand to your feet, I don't know, but uh, Pastor Darren, come on. Thank you. Ah, uh, yeah. It's it's been it's been an awesome awesome week, man. We've been running from last Sunday all the way to today, and this morning kind of culminates a week long. Uh, camp meeting that we called Awakening and Harvest. It started off with Andre Ashby last Sunday night, and it, the glory of God just came right during worship. Um, there was such an, a, an intensity and such a glory on that service, and then Jeremy Nelson came into town, uh, and that was incredible, brought an amazing message on um, dreams and visions, and uh, that, that was a lot of fun. Um, and then we had, uh, uh, who, and then Mahesh, oh, oh wait, 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 and then Cheon came into town, um, and that, that was incredible. Cheon carries just such a, such a, a papa heart, such a maturity, such an apostolic gift, and, um, and so that was incredible. He came in and really spoke on, um, on the presence of God, um, uh, the gospel, awakening, and reformation. That was, that was so good. And then Mahesh Shavda came in, and that was just a, that was just such a treat, and then, and, and then, and then, and then, yep, yeah. but wait, there's more, right, uh, uh, Miranda Nelson came in, um, and then Charlie Champ came in, um, and this whole week, it's just been tied together through this brilliant thread of praise and worship. We've been so incredibly blessed to have Steve Swanson with us this whole week, um, We've had, yeah, come on. We've had uh, 14 sessions where we've just come together just to praise the Lord and just to be refreshed in His glory. Um, and it's, it's just been, it's been just absolutely uh, just such an amazing, such an amazing week. At the beginning of 2016, the Lord spoke to me and said, you're doing local church well, but I've called you to be a revival center. And I didn't even know what that meant. So we retreated together as leaders just, just, to, just to strategize and to talk about, you know, what, is a, what does revival look like? What does a revival center look like? 
Um, but that very same weekend when we were meeting, um, Jeremy and Miranda and Bobby Connor um, and Joshua Mills were hosting a conference. It was supposed to be three days, and it's been going ever since. Um, we came back. We heard about that. We sent a team uh, to San Diego. They came back, and just this whole place just blew up, right? Uh, many of you were here for that. Um, and uh, so this place was just buzzing, right? Just buzzing with, with, with expectation. Uh, because the next week after our team came back, we hosted our own conference uh, called Declaration Conference. And we had Bobby Connor, Patricia King, um, Leif Hetland, and Charlie Champ. And Charlie came here for a three-day conference and ended up staying five weeks. <laughs> five weeks. Um, and, uh, and, the, and the rest is history. We really feel that like we have a call to, to host something for the long term. And honestly, we have no idea what that looks like. We have no idea what we're even doing. And we have no idea what the Lord is establishing um, uh, through this expression of hosting his presence. And I think that's actually quite normal. I've been studying uh, the Great Awakening and, uh, and the Jesus movement recently and, and comparing and contrasting um, the two. And one of the things that I've been learning about every move of God is that n nobody ever knows what they are doing or what's being established when they are doing it. No one. Like there's never been a move of God where they actually got it right, where they actually understood what was taking place. It wasn't until another generation came and, and, and began documenting all that was established. In fact, in most moves of God, they don't even realize it's a move of God. They, like usually in most moves of God, they are still contending for the future move of God. And so um, let us be a generation that's not content with where we're at. And yet we still have an appreciation for the fullness of his presence right where we are at. Because heaven is open, yet the Holy Spirit is accessible. And so uh, the, the, the great era of separation is over. That everything you need can be found in him. And he is available to you today. So if you're waiting for something to come, you're going to be waiting for the rest of your life. Because that something is a someone. His name is Jesus. And baby, he already came. Like he already lived, died resurrected and ascended and sent his Holy Spirit yep so while many people are waiting on the Lord the Lord is actually waiting on many people to be awakened to the reality that now is the time to arise and shine so it's time to get into the glory start hosting the glory start writing your own personal glory story yep and stop waiting on somebody else to open up something for you because the door has been opened absolutely and all you have to do is make the choice to value the presence and step on in for yourself. Amen. 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 So it's 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 such an honor and a privilege um, to welcome you. Um, I think we're going to give him an honorary uh, him and his family family honorary membership. I like because because uh, because they are they are a part of the Seattle Revival Center family. The sh I'm speaking of the Champs, and so I like I like to welcome one of our one of our own this morning, Charlie stinking sham come on out <laughs> hallelujah let's give it up for jesus this morning and just shout wow oh you can do better than that come on let's let you hear you shout If I just had five people in here right now that would shout. Oh my goodness. I love you guys so much. I do feel like I'm family here. I feel like our family is, is like a part of this place forever. And... Um, even when I'm not here, I'm watching you. <laughs> Paul, Paul said, when you gather, I'm, uh, I'm there. I've seen you. He was going in the spirit. I, I just go online and <laughs> click on and hear, hear Pastor Darren preach and my friend. But, um, man, if, how, how many were here last night? It was so loud in this place. You guys are too rowdy for me. I'm, I'm going home. 
it gets too crazy here. <laughs> Going back and just listening to the worship, I mean, every voice in here was singing. I mean, it was like, it was like a choir of just pe- and then and then the joy was just. Uh, look at your neighbor and say, ha ha, ho ho, hee hee. You know what I find incredible um, is that that here we are, what is it? It's over a year and a half, right? 18 months. And the same presence and power that I felt the first week that I entered into the building is the same presence and power that I feel now. It's like it hasn't waned. You hear me? It's like it hasn't diminished it hasn't like subsided, you know, because that's kind of like your, that's kind of like the fear, right? That revival comes and it goes and, and, you know, you get to ride the wave, but then it's kind of over. It's quiet in this Methodist church for a moment. <laughs> what I love is that there's a grace on this generation to flow into the supernatural and begin to move into new dimensions and it doesn't subside it just keeps going I remember when we when I first got here and uh, you know I it was it was totally supernatural how how me and Darren met it was just literally over Periscope just over social media and and we started chatting and um, he said hey we should we should I should have you out um, for our conference, and I looked over the schedule, and I said, oh, yeah, yeah, I have it open. And I, but I felt like there was something just going to break out. I just felt it. I, 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 we were talking on the phone. We said, what would, it, what would it be like? Like, what does it look like? What is it? What is it, you know? And I remember, like, the very first, I guess, week Going back to the house and going, oh, Jesus. I mean, because we didn't even really know each other. I mean, not even, I mean, just a little bit, you know, and we're, we're sitting here and night after night after night after night. And I'm thinking to myself, I go back to the, to the, to where I'm staying and, and I go, oh, Lord, he's got to think I'm so weird. <laughs> Lord, <laughs> uh, I was like, Lord, just help me, please, please, just let him like me, just for another week. <laughs> Lord, this is so awesome. I, I, I just, I, no, just one more, a, a week would go by, and I go, Lord, just one more week, Lord, just let him, let him be able to sustain me. Just, and I remember we were driving in the car, and. And he asked me, we're, we're, me and Darren were driving the car, we just got done eating, and he goes, he goes, um, have you ever done anything like this before? <laughs> He's like, have you ever been in revi- like a revival, like, like done this <laughs> revival thing before? And I'm thinking to myself, don't tell him you're a novice, just... <laughs> Just, just, oh yeah, all the time, buddy. Yeah, last week we were just, this, this is how we do it. I mean, I don't think you can ever prepare nor understand the move of the Holy Spirit. I think the biggest mistake is that we, we try to start to figure everything out. There's something about childlike just faith and just keeping things spontaneous that God loves. It's like we can strategize, we can try to plan, we can try to figure things out, but what I've noticed is that never works. When we got it planned out like it's going to, this is how it's going to happen, this is the, it, it just never transpires the way that we think. I think God likes to mess with us a little bit. I'm actually convinced of that because, you know, I try to be like very polished when I preach. 
But for some reason, I find myself. <laughs> some people ask me, they go, do you ever listen to yourself? Like preach? I said, N no. I, <laughs> Cause you got, you always got everything planned out. Like you're sitting on the front, I'm just letting you in on a little, so you're sitting on the front row. You say, okay, I'm gonna say this. And then I'm going to say this and this and this. And you got it all planned out. And, and then suddenly, God begins to pull your heart. That's how, that's how revival is. That's how the move of the Holy Spirit is. And the Bible says that those that are led by the Spirit, they're the sons and daughters of God. There's something about being a son and a daughter of the kingdom that when God begins to manifest and you are there with an open heart that when he begins to pull on your spirit you have the decision to make whether to go with him or not you have that decision because God has given us a choice how many are going to choose God some people some people will say well I'll choose the Lord but just a little bit I'll posture myself just a little bit so that I don't look too crazy Like, let's have a move of the Holy Ghost, but let's put some limits. Let's put some parameters here. Spock it, box it in a little bit. This, this, Spock. Spock it up. <laughs> Beam me up, Scotty. Anyways, box it in, figure it out, plan it here, do this. And I'm not saying that you don't strategize. I'm not saying that you don't, uh, you know... You know, plan, but what I am saying is that when the Spirit comes, the Spirit moves you into the position where He wants to bless you. And you don't have everything figured out. Come on, somebody. You don't have everything figured out. You can't, you can't plan every, itemize everything. You can just show up. Right? You can just show up with an open heart and say, God, I want you to move on me. I can't go back to the way it used to be. I don't know about you. But once you've tasted of the move of the Spirit, you can't go back. You can't go back to the way it used to be. You can't just do just the normal thing anymore. It's like you can't do it. You, you're, you're, you're just too in tune. You've been marked there's something about the move of the Spirit and revival and the supernatural that it marks you for your life. It burns and brands in you something that is of authentic and the authenticity of the Spirit that you know that it's, it's always available. And if it's always available, why are we cashing in on something less than what God's best is? We, we, we can't go back to the way that church used to be. We, we can't do the old thing. And, and even though that, that there may be things that, that aren't perfect, right? Because you're just moving with the Spirit. And you're going, God... I'm stepping out. I'm getting out of the boat right now. I'm going out. Like it's like it's kind of like you're on uh, you're 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 in a tree with a saw. And you go out on the limb. You're like way out on the limb. And then you take the saw. And you start sawing off this side of the, 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 the branch of the tree and hoping that God's going to catch you. <laughs> so good, Charlie. Let's look, at, let's look at the book of Joel this morning. And just uh -huh. 
I just want to look at this prophetic word from Joel and just kind of show you something here. Joel chapter 2. Joel chapter 2. Verse 28 says, And it shall come to pass afterwards that I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh. And your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. Your old men shall dream dreams. Your young men shall see visions. And also upon the servants and upon the handmaids in those days will I pour out my spirit. Say all flesh. That tells me that the move of God is global in nature. It's universal. There are things that happen in the move of the Holy Spirit that you can point to, that you can recognize that it's a move of the, of the Spirit. All throughout history, there's been moves of the Spirit, and you can, you can point back and look at those little trigger points and say, wow, that's a move of the Holy Spirit. That's a, that's a move of God. That, that everywhere on the earth, no matter where we live, our geographical location, that there is a move of the Spirit that is happening around the world right now that is unique, yet the same characteristics in every tribe, tongue, culture are happening. And while religion and tradition will try to label us as fanatics and crazies, the global move of the Holy Spirit and the wave of the presence of God is undeniable. The increase of the Spirit is undeniable. Whew. That we can go anywhere on the planet right now. In fact, there's people watching us all over the world right now this morning. And they all think the same way. They all move in similar dynamics. Not because they were trained or taught or learned a, a certain way or a mannerism but that God actually got on them. The manifestation of the Spirit moved upon them and the similar manifestations that happened hundreds of years ago, even though they tried to erase it in history, in the books, are still happening today. I remember reading uh, uh, about, you know, revivals that they said that they would meet, you know, in, 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 like um, uh, there's a place in Kentucky. He called it the Red Roof House. It's where the Second Great Awakening broke out. And in the middle of the winter with snow on the ground, there's documentation that people were rolling around on the ground laughing hysterically, mowed down by the power of God, shaking and vibrating on the floor, screaming at the top of their lungs. <laughs> Woo! Shakaraba satarabada. Say, by the Spirit. Say, through the Spirit. Through the Spirit. Of, the Spirit. of the Spirit. Say, in the Spirit. In the Spirit. That's what we're doing. Come on. We're birthed by the Spirit. Yes. Amen. You can't fit into the norm any longer. You've been baptized in the fire of God. How can you go back to a lukewarm, dead religious setting when you've been baptized in fire. I'm bringing it right now, sister. Huh? <laughs> 
Just give me five more minutes. How many of you will give me five more minutes? Five, ten, fifty. Oh. The Spirit will make you do spontaneous, supernatural things. You can't plan for the Spirit because it's something that just begins to move you. It's like this morning we were, when Steve was making some amazing... What was that thing you made? Say, say that again. Chilaqueles. I need, you, I need you to interpret for me this morning. <laughs> no. <laughs> we started talking about the move of the Spirit. We were just, I was talking about the move of the Spirit. He said, have you ever been in a meeting where people just spontaneously get up and run? We're talking about this over breakfast. We're eating food, yet in the Spirit, we're talking literally about the meeting. Because that's what happened this morning. You can't plan for these things. But when you're in the Spirit, look at your neighbor and say, you're in the Spirit. When you're in the Spirit, the Spirit will move you. You can't remain dead. You can't remain silent. You can't, you can't just stay the way it used to be. You, 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 you just can't sit any longer and listen and just say, okay. Five more minutes and I'm out of here. I great, 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 great message. I no, it's the move of the Spirit. It's by the Spirit. It's through the Spirit. We can't have a move of the Holy Ghost any other way. It has to be through the Spirit. You can't plan for the move of the Holy Ghost. You can't move. You cannot plan for revival. You can't. Maybe you can try to figure it out and say, well, possibly something might happen. I mean, we felt it. It wasn't like a planned, like, hey, bro, when, I, when, 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 we, when, when we do these gatherings, we're just going to go ahead and extend. No, I was scared. I, we were scared. We said, because when, when you hear about uh, uh, the outpouring or the move of the Spirit, sometimes it's like people make it in a way where uh, you just... You just knew that you knew that you knew that you knew. But the way that I felt was like, Lord, I don't want to miss it. I don't want to miss it, but yet I choose you. If, it, if you're pouring it out and you're doing something right now, God, I want to be a part of it. I don't want it to end. I don't want it to stop. Look, here we are 18 months later, same presence. I don't know about you, last night I was like, Phew. same power. Some la lady was here last night, I don't remember her name, just randomly never been in the church before, never came to this, and, and just the power of God hits her, she's completely healed up here, just, I don't know, whacked under the Holy Ghost, if that's okay to say, crying, and I'm saying, God, Oh, I want more of that. How many want more of that? So it's by the Spirit, through the Spirit, of the Spirit. We are a people of the Spirit. I am telling you, Seattle Revival Center, you are a people of the Spirit. This is a culture of the Spirit. Of the Spirit. It's going to be impossible to come to church and it be the same way that it was. Right? You can't come. It's just not because it's of the Spirit. You're a people of the Spirit. And we're drinking uh, of the Spirit. Just open up your mouth this morning. I know it's Sunday, but... Just open up your mouth and just take a drink. Oh. 
Oh, Lord, we just want more. We just want more. We just want more. Somos quiere más. We just want more. Somos queremos más. We just want more. Look at, verse, look at verse 28 again. It's, and it shall come to pass afterwards that I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh. Your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. Your old men shall dream dreams. Your young men shall see visions. And upon your servants and upon your handmaids in those days I will pour out my spirit. Take note of that. Now turn with me to Acts. The book of Acts. This is just... Something that I, I, I noticed this morning. Been looking at this. Acts chapter 2. Verse 17. And it shall come to pass in the last day, says God, I will pour out of my spirit upon all flesh. And your sons and daughters shall prophesy. Your young men shall see visions. And your old men shall dream dreams. And on my servants and on my handmaidens, I will pour out in those days of my spirit. And they shall prophesy. You know what's interesting? Here Peter is meeting with 120 people and the power of God falls in this meeting while they're waiting on the Holy Spirit. The power of God falls and he stands up and he begins to prophesy Joel chapter 2. But he actually misquotes it. He actually puts first, look at this, he actually puts first in the place that young men are going to see visions. When Joel says first in the text that old men are going to dream dreams. He, he flips it. To a religious person, they would automatically say, wow, he just missed it right there. He just misquoted the book of Joel. This cannot be a move of God. This cannot be a move of God because the man of God just misquoted scripture. And added to the text. Because not only... Does he say that the servants and all my handmaidens, I'm going to pour out my spirit on those days. He adds to it and says they're going to prophesy. He adds to the prophecy of Joel. Which, which religion would say you cannot add to... You cannot add to it, nor can you flip it, nor can you change it. But when the spontaneity of the Spirit comes, God will say, whatever is in your heart, whatever is in your heart, when the Spirit moves, and you believe in your heart, those words will come to pass. Joel said, I'm going to pour out my spirit on the handmaidens. I'm going to pour out my, my spirit on the servants. But he never said that they're going to prophesy. But Peter said, wait a minute. As the spirit moved upon me, I saw it in a different way. That God didn't want to just pour out his spirit, but that he wanted to release the fullness of that gift of the prophetic and the gift of the Spirit upon everybody. 
And so he stepped out and said, God, not only do are, are the sons and the daughters going to move in the Spirit, yet they're going to step into the same prophetic flow and they're going to begin to prophesy and move spontaneously because they're birthed in the Spirit. There's something about the spontaneity and the childlike heart and the faith of God that pulls you to a place that says, that says, God, I don't have every scripture memorized. You have to understand, Peter was an uneducated man. He did not go to the school of Gamaliel. He was not like Paul the apostle where he, was, he understood the, the scripture. He was a fisherman. He was just straight out of the streets. He was, he was from the ghetto, y'all. I, I don't know how any other way to say it. He was just, he was just, from, he, he was just from a family of just fishermen, stinky, dirty fishermen, businessmen that were barely making it by. And Jesus came along and said, I want to choose you I want you to come along with me and I want you to be one of my people I want you to be one of my disciples he didn't go to a school he didn't go to a, 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 a you know a, a, a cemetery seminary and try to figure out the text of the scripture he didn't know understand how to exit Jesus or hermeneutics he he didn't understand all that stuff all he knew was that he went to the school of the spirit he had encountered Jesus and he knew that there was something that was living on the inside of him that the fire had fallen and the same spirit that he felt when he walked with Jesus on those shores of Galilee he felt the same presence and power in the upper room The Spirit will move you. Look at your neighbor and say, the Spirit will move you. See, I think that we, 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 we've, we've, we've kind of tried to plan even what revival looks like. We think that revival is just a series of meetings. Can I say something? You can do a thousand nights and it not be revival. Revival is a spirit that when it is cultivated and stewarded properly, it doesn't matter if we came here today or met an entire month later, when we come back into the building and we begin to worship God, the spirit of revival and outpouring comes because there's a people of the spirit that says, God, I'm positioning myself. I'm hungry for you. I, I know I had a move of God a month ago, but Lord, here we are again. Not just doing meetings, but we are, we are facilitating, we are hosting your presence. We don't know, we don't know what you're going to do tonight. We don't know what you're going to do tomorrow. I remember when I was, oh, we were just the five weeks that I was here. I would sit over at the house and I would, I would stare sometimes at the wall. And I would go, God, what are you going to do tonight? Are you going to show up? You hearing me this morning? Are you going are you, are you to come? Because without you, we, 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 what, what are we doing? If you're not going to move... Oh, man. If you're not going to... I, God, I don't want to do another night. If you're not coming... How many, are, how many feel that way? And there's something that I, you know, there, I, that's why I love this place. Because I can look around and I can look and I can see that things have been stewarded properly because this place is an empty and people aren't burned out. 
Because we're being led by the Spirit of God. We're being led by the presence. I say we because I'm a part of this place. I just can't. I, I have to say we. Right? I mean, I hope that's okay. I, I, I just feel like I'm just, a, like my family is a part of this church. I can't say you guys because I just feel so connected that it's just like, even though I, I live, you know, hundreds and hundreds of miles away, I'm like, we're connected. Forever, forever, ever. By and the ever, house, Charlie. And by ever. the house. By the house. And ever and ever. Oh, yes. I think, I loved what Pastor Darren said about, he thought in the beginning that it would just be one year, and then it would just, you know, this whole thing would just explode. I think, I, I thought the same thing. But now that we're looking at it, it's like, no, actually what God wanted to do was not just an outpouring, but a total transformation and cultural shift in a region, in a place where, let's be honest, when you think of revival and outpouring, you don't think of Seattle. I mean, it's just, right? I mean, you just don't. You, you just think, you know, may, maybe like, you know, Alabama. I mean, you, you, you think like, you, think, you, you, you know, you're like, Praise God. We're going to have a week of revival down here. We're going to set up the tents. Everybody's going to come. We're going to have Steve Swanson here. He's going to be leading worse and we're going we gonna to do this thing right. You don't think Seattle? But God says, no, no, no. I've marked a people. I've set a people apart. I've marked them. I'm going to brand them. They're, 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 they're never going to be the same. Let me tell you something. I can't be the same. I'm never going to be the same. And it shall come to pass afterwards that I will pour out my spirit on all flesh. Say, Lord, pour it out. Lord. It's interesting about this word to pour out because in the, in the Hebrew it's a word shafak, which means to spill. It means to spill or pour out like the shedding of blood. To gush out. To pour out of the heart. See, this is the thing that we get excited. I want you to hear me this morning. We get excited about the 120 in an upper room. That the Spirit was poured out. But God gets excited when his spirit begins to pour out upon his entire body not just 120 we get excited about the about the one spontane, one spontaneous time that god broke out when god said no i want to continuously pour out my spirit on all flesh and i want to use my entire body for my spirit to spill out if my son paid for it on the cross and his blood was spilled out then the upper room experience was just a token of what god wants to do 
globally around the world and every geographical location on the earth that my body would have the same move of the spirit the same outpouring the same spilling forth that it would spill out on their everyday life you know that it's revival. You know that it's outpouring because you can feel it in your families. You can feel it in your household. It doesn't just stay in the building. It goes home with you at night. It goes and spills out into your family, into your finances, into your physical body, into your children, into every area of your life. It spills out on your boss. It, it spills out on your jobs. It, it spills out on your businesses. Something about revival outpouring the move of the spirit that as it comes it begins to bless everybody in the body you you can't get away from it you come in the building and God just begins to pour out his spirit but you're marked forever and you carry that move into the entire earth God bless you, sister, with that <laughs> bucket. She brought a bucket. You, you know it's the holy, you know it's a move of God when, when the ladies are bringing buckets. Look at your neighbor and say, I don't got it all figured out. I don't know everything. But I do know one thing. I do know one, this one thing. I'm in the Spirit. I'm moved by the Spirit. I'm going through the Spirit. The move of the Spirit is constantly moving. You catch that wave, but it's a never-ending wave. It's not going from glory to no glory. It's going from glory to glory. To glory, to glory, to glory. Right when you think that it's over, it's finished, it's, it's, it's subsided. No, 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 no. You're just... You're just being lifted to a higher dimension. It's like, so, it's like sometimes you're, like you're on an elevator. And you know how you hit the one, the, the one, the one level, and then suddenly you feel the, the next lift until you get to the next. It's it's that place of of transition because you're being moved by the Spirit. We haven't seen anything yet. I I just know that I know that I know. That those that are led by the Spirit, they are the sons and daughters of God. And that we're in a time right now where God is pouring out His Spirit on all flesh. It's inescapable. He's pouring it out on you so that you can pour it out on others. That Jesus, Jesus paid a price to give you an unlimited measure of His glory so that you would, never, you would never have to say, well, this is it. This is all there is. But you would recognize that we're going from glory to glory to glory to glory to glory and we never know what's going to happen in the next meeting because we're just positioning ourselves with a heart like a child to say, Lord, I want you to come. I want you to come and just do what you want to do. Do whatever you want. Do what, ha, ha, ha. Do whatever you want. God, I don't want to just read about the past. How many times did Peter read that passage out of Joel? How many times had he, had, he, had, he, had he looked at that and he had read it and, and, and thought about that outpouring? How many times had he thought about that? But when the moment came, God switched it up. 
God's changed it up on him. And switched. He was going to just quote the scripture and suddenly the spirit took over. The spirit came upon me. The spirit came upon me. The fire, the oil, the glory, the fog of God came on me. When the fog of God comes... It gets a little cloudy. You can't think straight. You can't, you can't process everything because you're in the fog. You don't know what's coming next. You're just walking. You're walking by faith in a childlike heart. And you're saying, God, I, I don't know. All I see is your cloud. All I see is your spirit. All I see is your presence. God, keep me in this cloud, this cloud of your spirit, the fire, the oil, and the glory, because this is where you pour out your demonstration, where you bring your manifestation. God, we can't do anything by ourself we can't i can't i can't preach eloquently enough to see souls saved to do miracles no god the only thing that i can do is follow your presence the only thing i can do is get in the cloud let's lift our hands this afternoon Get it, sister. The Spirit begged me to come, and I fell out. Just just lift your hands and just open up your mouth this morning. Lord, we thank you for the fire, the oil, and the glory. Father, we thank you for the fire, the oil, and the glory. Lord, I'm asking you to saturate every person's heart in this place. Oh, Lord, we thank you for that childlike faith. That place of not, not, not having everything figured out. God, we don't have everything figured out. All we know is that we want more of you. We want more. <laughs> We want more of you. We want, we want more of the fog of God. We want the fire, the oil, and the glory. Lord, we want more of the apple wine. Lord, we ha, ha, ha. We want more of your joy. We want more of signs and wonders and miracles. We want more of transformation. We want more of your glory. We want to drink in the presence of God. Lord, we walked in here. We want to be carried out. <laughs> oh, we want. <laughs> we want to be. <laughs> we want to be carried. We want to ha uh, by the Spirit, through the Spirit, in the Spirit. We want to be carried. Just take your hand and put it on your neighbor right now. And just, whew, just for, just, ha, ha, ha. Woo. You're watching us online this morning. Just take it right in your home. Just have a, just have it. Just have more, 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 more. Ha, 
Ha, ha, ha, ha. Shoo, shoo. Lord, this morning, men broken marriages in this fog. Father, this morning, men broken finances in this fog. And the fire, the oil, and the glory. Lord, I ask you, Lord, marriages that have been broken down, Father, mend them by the fire, the oil, and the glory. Lord, finances that have been broken, finances that have been, that have been broken, Father, mend them by the fire, by the fire, the oil, and the glory. Father, broken bodies in this place. Broken bodies that have pain and broken bodies that need miracle power in them. Father, I'm asking for the fire, the oil, and the glory to touch them this morning. Lord, get them into the fog of your spirit, the fog of your presence. By your spirit, pour it out on their flesh. Pour it out on their physical body. Lord, I'm asking you from the top of their head to the soles of their feet that the fog of God would fill them. Fill them with the fire, the oil, and the glory. Lord, I take authority over every spirit of pain in this place. Every tormenting spirit by the power of Jesus Christ. Command every demonic influence to be broken. Every demonic spirit every tormenting mind binding spirit by the power of God I command it to be broken now in the name of Jesus Lord I release the fog of God in this place Lord release the fog on our enemies right now Lord every every word that's been spoken in vain Every curse that's been spoken over our families, over the people of God, over this church. Father, I thank you that it falls to the ground. That in the fog, the words can't find us. Because we're covered in the cloud of your presence. The cloud of your glory. Oh, come on, 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 lift your hands into that, just come on, just ha 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 every spirit of depression, oppression, possession in the name of Jesus Christ I break it now in this place the joy of the Lord is your strength the joy of the Lord is your strength I break the spirit of fear spirit of fear and torment I take authority in the name of Jesus Christ I release the fog of God in this place. The fire, the oil, and the glory. Oh, my Lord, I thank you for spontaneous, supernatural worship. Lord, let it break out spontaneously. In Anamasto Coriste Banelevrite in our homes with our children. God at at dinner tables. God, let it just break out. Let the fog of God show up while we're eating, while we're just fellowshipping. Lord, let the glory, the fire, the oil, and the glory saturate our minds, saturate our bodies. God, as we're just sitting down and watching TV, just let the fog of God just descend in our living rooms. You're here this morning. Hallelujah. And you don't know where you'd spend eternity. You just came in. 
You may have never even been in this church before. You may have been backslidden, not, not burning for Jesus, but this morning, I want to give you an invitation. I want to give you an invitation to enter into the fog of God, the spontaneous move of the Spirit. You may have grown up religiously. You may have went to church your entire life. You may have went to service after service after service, but this morning, God wants to touch you in a fresh way. He wants to fill you with the fire, the oil, and the glory. He wants to saturate you where you're never the same again. You're never going to be the same. You came into this place. You just thought it was a Sunday morning. What you didn't realize is that we're a people of the Spirit. You're here this morning. You say, I want, it. I want you to pray for me, Brother Charlie. I want, I want, I want that fresh fire, oil, glory I want to be saturated I want to be soaked I want the demonic influence broken off my life I want I want to be in the fog of God I want to give my life to Jesus in a new way by the Spirit if that's you this morning I want you to get out of your seat I want you to run up here right now you say I... This is your morning. This is your time. You're getting in the fog of God. You're the fire, the oil, the glory. Yes. Yes. Yes, yes. 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 Just a, just, a, just a few more minutes here. You're here this morning. You're feeling that right now. You're saying, I, I'm not burning like I should. I, you need to be up here right now. Just don't care about the person on the right and the left that you don't care about. Any of that. Just get here right now. Just get here right now. When you start running, God's going to just run right out. I mean, he's just, he, before, he, you're feeling it in your seat right now. He, he, you're feeling pulled, right? The run. Stand in the front, just lift your hands. Just lift your hands, close your eyes. Just I'm gonna pray for you this morning, but I'll just start. Oh, it's already started. It's just already here right now. Just start receiving. Right now, ushers, watch them. Lord, I thank you right now. Rama Sutriki Steel and Brahma, who vivi de Renan de Ristole, Lebroma Calibris de Labrando, Lebru Catalibris, Yamatana Masuna, Lebroma Calibris, let the fire, the oil, and the glory begin to come right now. Holy Spirit, I pray every addiction is broken, every demonic oppression is broken in the name of Jesus Christ. 
Father, I thank you right now that I'm so cold. Just start asking him right now. Just start. You, you don't need somebody to lay, just to, to even pray. Just a, a sinner's prayer with you. Pray your own prayer. Just, God, I want you in my life right now. I'm telling you. Just, God, I want you. I want you right now. I want, I want, I want, I want you more. The fire of God's fallen in this place right now. The fire, the fire, the oil, and the glory right now. Father, in the name of Jesus, begin to touch your people. Begin to fill your people right now at this altar, Lord. I ask you on this altar that you would set them ablaze. Lord, saturate them in the oil. Lord, release the fire. And Lord, give them the glory this morning. If I get a couple of guys to come up and catch for Charlie, if you could just run. Right here. Really 
Release your fire over me. Release your oil over me. Come on, surround me with your glory. Release your fire over me. Release your oil over me. Come on and cover me with glory. Release your fire in me. Release your oil on me. Oh, surround me in your glory. From a new perspective, I'm living in the glory of the Lord. I'm moving in a new anointing. I'm walking in the favor of my God. Favor of my God. favor of my God.
Christ, a burning, cleansing flame. Send the fire, send the fire, send the fire. Your blood, blood gift today we claim. Send the fire, send the fire, send the fire. Look down and see this waiting hope. Give us the promised Holy Ghost. We want another Pentecost. Send the fire, send the fire, send the fire. God of it, life, did you hear our cry? Send the fire. Send the fire to make us fit to live or die. Send the fire, send the fire to burn up every trace of sin. Bring the light and glory in. The revolution now begins. Send the fire, send the fire, send the fire. The fire we want, the fire we plead. Send the fire. Your fire will meet our every need. Send the fire. What strength to do. Whatever is right for grace to conquer in the fight, power to wash the world in white. Send the fire, send the fire, send the fire. To make our weak hearts strong and brave. Send the fire. Live a dying world to save. Send the fire. I see us on your altar lay. Our lives are all this very day. We crown the offering now, we pray. Send the fire. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, send your fire. Send your fire. Send your fire. Send your fire. Send your fire by send your fire by send your fire by send your fire by the crest a burning cleansing flame send the fire your blood bond gift today we claim send the fire look down and see this waiting host give us the promised holy ghost we want another pentecost send the fire send the fire Fire on my hands, fire on my feet, fire in the church, fire in the street, 
fire in my hands, fire on my feet, fire in the church, fire in the street, yeah. Fire in my hands, fire in my feet, fire in the church, fire in the street, fire in my hands, fire in my feet, fire in the church, fire in the streets. Christ, Christ, a burning flame. Send the fire. Your blood bought gift today we claim. Send the fire. Look down and see this waiting. Give us the promised Holy Ghost. We want to know the pain. Send the fire. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you, baby.
Hey guys, thanks so much for watching this morning. Love you, love you, love you, bless you. Hope, hope you've been blessed uh, uh, this morning. Uh, we're going to go off the air, but thanks so much for being a part of this whole week. Thanks so much for being a part of this service this morning. You are absolutely loved by the Lord, and we'll see you later, all right? Bless you. Bye-bye. If you'd like prayer this morning, uh, feel free to come on up.